great. Let's take a look at damage. Um, as always, I only use a piece of shit oil rings. I don't like those oil rings. Yeah, it definitely was a uh, uh, detonation, and for some reason, I didn't find any piece, but I found broken ring. So that's maybe the ring flew right in the combustion chamber, right here. Okay, did you see it's missing piece? So it's possible that this piece give other damage to the head and the top of the piston, those marks. That's what I think. It's not forged pistons, it's cast pistons. Uh, connecting rod looks pretty much similar to the 3.0 engine, even actually smaller. I'm not sure how this crop holds uh, uh, 900 to the wheel. He, honestly, I have no idea. So, there is a block. It's fixable. It's definitely good for sleeves. So, we gotta use the liner. On these engines, we put the liners or sleeves, whatever the name is. And yeah, and we gotta send it. It should be able to hold a lot more power. And uh, let me just, I wanna pull the, I have the connecting rod somewhere. I think it's right here. Oh, this is 27. All right. Let me see what I got. I don't know where is it. Yeah, honestly. Um, fuck. I'm not remember where I put it. I'm not remember. Okay. I mean, I remember how the 3.0 looks. And they very similar. This is for press and this is all 2.7 connecting rod. Yep, really close. And uh, probably different material. This is the stronger probably material, the newest technology, whatever thing. Bearings. This car got 20 something plus miles. Look at those bearings, they already we're out. I don't know why I'm using piece of shit bearings like this. Uh, what I will do, I will probably get the OEM bearings and do additional coat. I I found the one company. They pretty much using pretty cool technology for the coating. And it works very, very well. For 20,000 miles with the stage two, I don't know how many miles in the stage two, but it seems to me it's too much. You shouldn't wear like that. Especially this is the, the high performance version of the Audi. RS7, probably most of, uh, strongest one, right? The engine. And they're using regular bearings. So yeah, next stage it will be pull the crank crank uh, crankshaft and gotta send the block to my machine shop. All right, so the block is completely disassembled. It's ready for machine shop to install the sleeve and uh, just do like you know visual inspection of the engine block uh, the way they des how they designed the V8. And I can tell you it's pretty much the short block itself it's it's pretty designed well and uh, they left plenty of meat in the web for the crankshaft seat. Got four bolts, same as V6 and uh, it 
each uh, each side and you have in the side another bolt for i think it's one two three four five yeah all of them on each side um as a thickness it's all right like this two one two three the same same size but that was a little bit thicker from one thicker so i guess it's most weight will be probably on those two i mean the another way the uh, I would say like energy load and the block itself so they make this thicker one a little bit thicker material um, yeah everything looks pretty cool happy with and um, we honestly can't wait uh, when it's gonna be completely built So I'm gonna go over every part. I'm not a professional uh, like performance mechanic or something. I'm just, you know, do little things in my little garage. This is my hobby. And um, oh, let me check. And uh, yeah, I love to play with the engines. Here's the cylinders. Uh, this car got 20 plus miles. 1028 this is the one that damaged right you saw that already a um, couple cylinder have small issue yes this one and the rest of them looks not too bad yeah Um, when I pulled the pistons, I found three of them got damaged. I think this is the one. Um, the problem with that engine was definitely was a uh, wind condition or overheat the block engine and detonation. Two cylinders got really bad damage and third one just got few spots damaged. This is the bottom, the lowest oil pan, as you can see, this material, it's not a metal, this is, seems like a leftovers of silicone or something, or maybe, I don't know, maybe from the engine itself. Okay, here's the heads, about the heads. It's pretty much the same design as V6 and regular V8, right? The way they supply the oil in here, I think this is the main issue with this Audi's. They should add oil supply in the bottom over here too. Or like uh, V6, the last generation crack. Supercharged, they add another layer, I mean, and they, they add another line of the oil feed. So it's pretty much just spraying in the camshaft itself which helps a lot to cool off and uh get the friction like they all they all got a bit you know marks this one is looks that doesn't look too bad but the other one got a little bit more damage yeah a lot of crop to have to take it out sorry for the mess i just recently Finish disassembling. Yeah, this one is where's that? Driver's side. Uh, that's what I was talking about. You see all these marks? So it's wearing wear out slowly, but it's only twenty something thousand miles. I think it's really bad. So here's the oil supply. So my guess they should add another oil supply on another side of the head. Like on this side, just you know, on the top of it, so that should help a little bit. And um, yeah, so this is the piston got really bad damage, and all these parts. I thought it flew something in the intake, but then I realized I didn't find any metal pieces in the engine. So seems like one of uh, the ring, little piece of the ring break off and just you know go 
go through the pistons or how damage the wall and it flew inside the uh, combustion chamber and it just flew around damage the spark plug and the rest of the stuff this one it's clearly just you know wind condition and knock not the knock sorry the wait I'm not focusing <clears throat> yeah it's still melting piston as well but not that bad so this is the head crankshaft it's pretty cool, it's forged, and I don't see any damage, looks good and clean. Also they drilled uh, every uh, connector rod at the big end. So that's pretty much saved lots of weight, I guess, it helps uh, as well. I, I'm not sure if the full point two got that, probably not. About the bearings. This is the crankshaft bearing. They probably tick. I think that's the difference between S6, S7, and the rest engine. The thickness of the main bearings, they probably big and thick. And same thing, you see, it's wear out a little bit. I mean, it's about to go. Maybe another 20, 40,000 miles on stage two, it will definitely be a problem. See, it's pushing on this side more than the bottom. So this is actually uh, top. This is going to the side of the engine, not the, not the bed plate. I think, yeah. Actually, on the bed plate. This is going to the, in the bed plate. So yeah, you can see it's pushing more to the one side towards to same thing. This bearing. Yeah, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy a new one and send to to do special code. Hopefully this will help. It is the number of the color of the bearings from the crankshaft. And another one should be in the bed plate, the numbers. All right, we go over this. Let's talk about pistons. All eight of them, right? Piston number one, it will start melting as well as you can see right here where is the ring land it was right about to melt out really crazy right there is no top ring anymore not the ring i mean the sitting place it's pretty much gone one, two, I think is, yeah, same thing. It start, it's about to get bad. So two, that's how it should look. This one is good. And I don't see any signs in here. Number four, five. Mm, nothing here. There we go, number six. That's where is the, the damage on the piston, you can see as well. Here's in the side. There we go. Number seven, same thing. And eight, that's the worst one through the hole. So as you see, there is missing piece. And the second ring, that's that's the ring, I think it that's the piece flew inside the combustion chamber and just you know it did uh contact with the piston and head. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Five pistons got per, uh, damage from eight. So yeah, it was definitely link condition or overheat the engine and detonation um i don't know what to tell you next yeah it's a bunch of the stuff in here so all this i signed every bolt that came from uh they all a lot of <laughs> a lot of work on that uh what do i want to say oh shoot almost forgot 
connecting rod bearings. Same story, they wear out pretty bad. I think for 20,000 miles, it should be like that. And, uh, and this is all kind of type of the bearings I would be using, I think since 2000s, 10 probably. And they never changed the style or the material. Yeah, they all, you know, got marks. See it? So same thing, I'm gonna get the original ones and I'll send to for special code. Hopefully this special tre treatment will help, you know, with this problem. All right, uh, yeah, sorry for my English. I'm trying to explain the best way I could. And uh, thank you for your support and stay tuned. Next step is send the block. Actually, I have to order the pistons first. Uh, most likely I'm going with, uh, I'll probably go a little bit smaller size of the pistons. So that way we can add a little bit more thickness of the sleeve. I would say 83 millimeters, possible. Yeah, probably 83, maybe 83 and a half. And uh, this give us a little bit thicker sleeve for you know better performance. So we can try to boost this engine a little bit higher than it was before. So with the first piston rods and uh, sleeves, we can probably go up to 30 psi even more 35 also the head is going to be built i'm doing the super tech brow with springs and fiera fiera uh valve train and gotta port it same as my v6 little, actually my v6 is right there it's still got good head the heads is ported and built it. So I'm gonna put this for sale. So two heads, the fully, they fully built and ported. All right. Yeah, and uh, yep. Let me know if you guys excited to see that. Uh, you like what I'm doing. Leave the comments and thank you so much. See you later.